All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to YouTube, Classic Gaming 843. This is the end of our first season with the Citadel. We got a couple more bowl games to simulate. Uh, we got San Diego State and Navy. What do you guys think? Navy with a dominant... Oh, look, Navy looks good, man. If y'all want to pause the video real quick, do it. Who do you think's going to win? San Diego State or Navy? We're going to simulate, and in probably a couple seconds, it'll go through... It is Navy, 13-0. and All right. So Navy wins the national championship. How about that? Uh, well, look at this. Uh, we're going to take the contract extension, of course. Have a winning season, receive a bowl bid. We did both of those. 0-1 versus top 25. So, guys, we're going to get right on into the offseason here. I don't really care about these records. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, man, what a bowl game, though. How about that? <laughs> How about that bowl game? Let's wait just a second. Um, yeah, you know, never mind. No, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I was gonna check the coach uh, coach options, but I think we did that last last video. Um, so off season, there's about what nine steps here. Uh, first step is setting the budgets. I'm gonna drop training because we need to focus on recruiting a lot more. Uh, I'm going to leave discipline at 30%. You can usually bump that down to like 25 or even like you can get away with like 20%, honestly. Uh, but we're going to be safe. 40% recruiting, 30% training, just because we don't have that many guys. I mean, we don't have that many guys on our team that are going to be that we're going to be playing this year. Like we're, <laughs> we're going to rely on so many freshmen. Um, all right. On to step two. This is players leaving. I had no one's leaving for the draft. That's good. <laughs> Uh, everybody's graduating. These guys, let's see, we'll go through everybody. This guy was good, man. Five sacks at 44 overall. Uh, there's Brazil. He was our uh, uh, safety, strong safety on the right side. Uh, or technically left side, I guess. Uh, Tim Perry, a good linebacker. Uh, look at all these guys on defense. Well, good Lord, man. Mike Johnson, he had 160 rushing yards. He was uh, put him in at quarterback. Morales, another linebacker. Defensive end, free safety. Uh, I think that's our starting center. Our tight end was actually pretty good. I didn't realize that. He was 68 overall. That's actually a big loss. I mean, hopefully we get a tight end, though. Chandler came, man. He MVP of the defense. Five interceptions, five first fumbles. Trey Baker, I uh, usered him the whole season pretty much. Had some kickoff returns and a punt return touchdown. Uh, but, yeah, guys, so I know we got a couple of people commenting about, like, Recruiting and let's see if we can get any five stars. Well, this is this is it, man. Offseason recruiting is where you get the bulk of your commits. Um, we only got four in um, in season recruiting, which is not bad. I mean, you can only target twelve, and honestly, the most I've ever gotten is like maybe eight or nine, and that's crazy. Like you, you're usually good for like three to five, maybe six if you're lucky. Uh, we got four this year. But, you know, I'm interested, man. Let's I, – I don't know. You see, like, if you finish, like, six and six, there's no way you're getting any five stars. I mean, you may get lucky and get a four-star, uh, even in a major conference like the SEC. But I don't know if we'll have any five stars, to be honest. I mean, we finished eight and five. I mean, we're going to have a ton of needs on defense. I mean, we need literally every position on defense. So we're going to take what we can get, to be honest. <laughs> We're going to jump right into it. They're reviewing the scouting reports. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because it's not the most exciting thing. And if you've ever played this before, uh, you can see here the pipeline states. we got North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. So we got pretty much the whole southeast or pipeline states. That's good. Um, let's look at interested. Okay, we do have a five-star. We got one. It's a JUCO athlete. That's nice. He's from North Carolina. We got Montana at top of his list. I don't know about that. Um, so we, it looks like we have one five star, but we got, um, as this is nice, man, a five star athlete. That's, you don't see that all the time that we will be able to put him really 4.5 speed. He looks like a man. I don't really know. Maybe a, he may be a good, really good linebacker. Or like maybe a, he may be able to play safety if his speed's not too bad. Um, I'm going to go after these athletes too, just because athletes are so versatile i mean they're athletes for a reason you can sometimes catch a gym you can catch a two-star and he may end up being like a 76 overall or something at defensive end or running back or quarterback you never know uh like you see all the needs we have man it's 
I need a running back, guys. I, I've got to get uh, this guy. Okay, look, hold on. Damon Jackson, he's at the top of our list. Let's go after this dude. Uh, I'm giving him 16 points. Marcelo Washington, Ryan Weiser. I'm basically just looking if anybody's on top of our list. Um, it would be nice to have a fullback. Four-star fullback. That actually would be pretty nice. Let's go after him. Oh, look at this guy. Four-star wide receivers at the top of our list. I mean, we don't need a, we don't really need that many great wide receivers, but uh, who else we got in here? Everybody likes Western Carolina, man. Um, like I said, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. I'm not going to spend too much time over analyzing the recruiting. Basically, you have a certain amount of points, and obviously you have 25 scholarships, so we have quite a few points remaining, so we can give most of these guys eight points, which is nice. We need offensive line, though. We really need offensive line badly. Let's go after the guy from Florida. Um, man, we don't really have any guards interested, though. They're all kind of mediocre couple centers here we may want to go after that's from illinois or maryland i mean i'd like to find you know georgia florida south carolina i'd like to stay around there that guy's probably going to go to navy that's the home state school um hmm i guess i'll go after this guy from north miami I mean, we do have one center returning. I, I don't really remember how good he is <laughs> to check that. It really doesn't matter. Uh, here's a Juco. We'll take the Juco. This guy's also interested. Um, yeah, we'll go after Quentin Brown. It's a two-star, but he's at the top of our list. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm more concerned about quantity over quality <laughs> because I don't want to be missing out on scholarships. I want to try to fill this class all the way. It's really hard to do. Um, I've got the recruiting assistant turned off as well, so we're not going to offer guys without me. Like, if you have recruiting assistant turned on, um, the the simulation will actually offer dudes on the last week, and you'll probably pick up commits that you've never personally recruited. And I just don't want to do that. I'm not about that. We're doing this all ourselves. Let's go after uh, a couple of these linebackers here. Gerald Atkins, that's a four-star. We'll go after him. He's from Florida. Look at these guys, Western Carolina, man. We're going to have to fight with them for the SEC. Western Carolina, both of these. We're, I mean, we'll go after him. We need linebackers. Like, we have, we have one linebacker returning on the whole team. That's insane. <laughs> this team was really heavy. It was really senior heavy, man. We've got 32 players returning. Uh, we've got to get some safeties. Justin Edwards from Georgia. Oh, man, that guy's really not liking us that much. Reed. There's a four-star corner. I suppose we could... I mean, oh, man. So we're down to... Here's the problem. We're down to two scholarships, so I've got to just... I don't know who to go after, man. This guy, we're pretty much even with Furman, but he's from North Carolina. I'm going to go with this guy, man. I'm going to go with him. So you get 25 scholarships. We've already got four commitments from in season recruiting. That leaves us with 21 targets. I kind of want to drop one of these wide receivers. Yeah. Because I, I desperately need safeties. I got to get safeties on defense. You know, worst case, I could uh, I drop a tight end as well. Um, I mean, I could potentially recruit corners. I mean, we, I want to go after these athletes, though. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's do this. This guy's at the top of our list. I know he's only a two-star, but he could easily be like a 70-something overall. Uh, let me think here. Spartanburg, South Carolina. That's from Wofford. He's not got Wofford on the list, though. So we'll take him. We'll go after him. I hope I get that five-star. Thomas Robinson, he'll be a, be the best recruit of the, of the uh, class. I know he's a Juco, but still, I mean, we need guys. 
We need people to fill these spots, man. I hope he's, you know what? I really hope he's a linebacker because we need, we desperately need linebackers. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get with it. Week one recruiting. So week one and week two are your two biggest weeks, weeks of recruiting. And there's actually a trick. There's a trick you can do with um, recruiting here. You'll actually, I may get into this. You'll actually see guys drop. You'll see guys drop that weren't originally in the top five. And what that means is they were like borderline, probably like within the top eight or at least top 10. And you can actually go after those dudes and maybe flip them. Basically you can like go after them after week one. And then I'll, I'll try to explain It'll make more sense when I go through this, but, and that this video is not going to be the most interesting. I'm just showing this to let you guys see the process and, see who we pick up you know we'll see who we can be excited for like after this we'll immediately get to uh position changes so you'll immediately be able to see everybody's overall uh, in this game the freshmen don't you know you can scout players but it doesn't impact their overall it just kind of gives you a better idea of what they may be but to be honest i really don't know if i have any points so look at we got a couple guys two defensive ends or defensive linemen that's good we need them I mean, I know they're only two stars, but we need guys. We need bodies in there, man. They're probably 68s, somewhere around then, maybe 65. Occasionally, you'll get lucky and get like a 72 overall two star. Uh, okay, here we go. So, let's see. Did anybody? We got one person that already committed to FAU. Nice. Okay, he's from Florida. That's fair. Uh, this guy went down. I'm probably gonna drop him. He's from Michigan. Yeah, that's, we don't need him. At, we can, we don't really need a fullback. I mean, we'll probably just run our halfbacks at fullback, to be honest. Let me re withdraw another guy here. Um, okay. All right, Robinson's number one. We got to keep him away from Ta uh, Towson. So basically, the first week I did location for everyone, no matter where they're from. And this week I'm gonna offer, I'm gonna go for academics, uh, just because I don't. <laughs> Our program prestige and coach prestige is only two stars, so I don't really think anybody's going to be impressed with that. So we're probably going to be offering location, the location pitch, uh, academics pitch, and then playing time. Maybe in that order. We may mix it up a little bit. This guy's not very interested. I'm going to drop him. Uh, Gerald Atkins, nice. He, I think he went up. I don't think he was number one. Edwards, we need this guy. Three-star strong safety. We need him badly. Corey Cole, we need linebackers. I gotta flip. I gotta get him away from Western Carolina. I don't know if I can though. So he has a plus on location. We're just gonna keep throwing the same thing at him. I mean, you. So it's kind of tricky with recruiting. You can throw a different pitch. Like we could throw academics at him, but there's a chance you know he may not like academics. He may be like, no, the Citadel, your academics suck. So <laughs> I don't want to go down in his standing by giving him a pitch that he doesn't like. So. If you see anybody with a plus, I'm just going to be offering that same pitch again. And we'll just send another coach knocking on their door in home visit. Hopefully we can do, we we'll probably have to do, yeah, we'll do some phone calls for a lot of these guys, but there's an in-home visit. Another thing is if they're, if, so the guys from South Carolina, their points, it costs a lot less to recruit them. Um, it's basically half, half as many points to recruit in-state recruits. Um, the problem with that is South Carolina. Look at this. There's a five star. <laughs> this punter. Do you see? Um, my goodness. There's no way we're getting him though. I'm gonna offer him though. Why not? Let's take a chance. Why not? That's a game changer. I know we already have a good punter, but we could put him at kicker. So you see how his arrow went down? I know I'm moving pretty quick. I, I don't want to keep this up. So uh, let's see here. Darren Simpson. I don't think there's any way I'm getting him. He's so he's not interested in us. Uh, here we go. There's one. Albert Nicholas. So see how his arrow went down? That means he was... He, we were near the top five. So there's a chance we could flip him and move up into the top five or even up to number two or number one, potentially. Um, let's see here. Here's an athlete from South... I'm looking at South Carolina recruits now. These are all guys. There's a five-star quarterback. Wow. Um, Uh, let's see here. Not a whole lot in South Carolina. It's pretty. It's not a big state. I mean, out of the Southeast, South Carolina is the smallest state. When you can, when you factor in Georgia, Florida, and if you even consider North Carolina. But I mean, I'd like to get as many guys as I can from that 
you know, Atlantic, that side of the Atlantic Ocean, the, you know, southeast, those four states, basically. Uh, I'm looking for any free safeties. So this guy, we're at the bottom. Uh, should I go after him? I don't know. Hang on a second. I mean, this guy, we'll just go after him again. He's actually not, I mean, we, we, he's a four-star. We have a chance. Oh, how about that five-star punter, man? If I could get him, I'm putting him at kick. I'm probably going to change his position to kicker. <laughs> we'll see, though. All right, let's go on to week three. So, yeah, man, it's... Uh, Recruiting is fun. It's 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 tedious. Like, you can honestly you can have up to twelve teams, which is absolutely insane. Uh, if you want to make twelve coaches and and simulate twelve teams, you can do that. And you can recruit for everyone. It just takes so much time. Uh, we'll see how long this video is just on our one team here. Uh, but you know, I've started. I've had plenty of dynasties with two, three, or four teams, and. It's fun. I mean, you can kind of recruit different styles. You can have one, like, a pass-heavy spread offense. You can make one team, like, you know, power running, triple option like we're doing. Or you can make one, like, you know, defense-heavy and dominate line of scrimmage. And Oh, look at this. We got a four-star linebacker. Nice. Gerald Atkins. That's a game-changer. National position rate's only 22. That's a little – I mean, it's a little worrisome because you don't – see too many four-star middle linebackers but look this guy went up <laughs> he's in the top five now uh mcintosh went down yeah i don't blame him i mean you don't really want to play wide receiver for our team to be honest who did we lose oh marlon grant no he went to navy all right well that's fine i, I mean they won the championship I, i'm not no problems there so this guy went down i don't know man western carolina is gonna be loaded every i've seen so many recruits with Western Carolina at the top. We got to get them this year, though. How do I feel about this punter? I don't think I, I don't like it. You know, I think it's too risky. I don't want to waste a scholarship. All right, so now we're probably going to start going playing. We're going to start going with playing time on most of these guys. You see, we got some with location down here. This guy liked academics. Um... Well, we got three scholarships remaining. I think we'll keep it with everybody we have. I'm going to go coaching style, actually. No. Let's do playing time. Well, I mean, I, I guarantee you every one of these recruits will see the field. Or at least, if not, they'll be a backup. And I mean, they'll probably see the field. <laughs> because we don't have anybody, aside from McIntyre. The only problem, guys, you know what I just realized is we didn't... We didn't um, I don't have any quarterbacks interested, do I? I'm going to have to check that. Do not – I mean, <laughs> I'm not streaming. I'm about to say don't let me forget to check that, but I really – I need to see if there's any scrambling quarterbacks out there because um, that was kind of – I talked about that a lot in some of the games. You know, if we can somehow land a scrambling quarterback, even if it's just a two-star, I mean – It'll really it'll be a game changer because it'll give us depth at, at quarterback. So we got 24 points remaining. That, that's enough to go after three more guys. Let's check interested prospects just in case. I mean, sometimes the athletes you can get some throw power with the athletes. Um, so I'm hoping maybe one of those guys can play quarterback. Uh, let's go after this free safety, Reed, Dennis Reed. All right. Uh, do we have? We do need one more wide receiver though. Andy Choice, Terrence. Uh, who do I go after? Uh, that's tough, man. This guy actually looks. He's six five. Let's go after this dude. I'll go after a six five guy. We need somebody that can go up and catch a jump ball. I don't know if I want to waste a scholarship on a fullback. How about running back? Marcelo. This is a four star from Alabama. Let's go after him. All right. I mean, I gotta go after dudes, man. I, I, I can't. I don't. We don't have any scrambling quarterbacks interested. I'm just gonna hope one of these athletes. I'm gonna hope one of these two-star athletes has enough throw power, 
and throw accuracy, I can put him at quarterback. That'll be best case scenario. And a lot of times you can do that. You'll get athletes and they'll have, you know, they'll have pretty solid speed. They'll have like 80 speed. And if they have enough throw power and actually you just put them at quarterback and then you suddenly have yourself a scrambling quarterback. Um, obviously that's essential with this triple option that we're running right now. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what we can do. It's going to go on to week four. It's so interesting seeing all these FCS teams. I've done, I've done this once before. <laughs> I'm curious, you know, after like two or three years, like how many of these FC, how good are these FCS teams going to be? Like, you know, all these guys, all these five-star recruits are going to like Western Carolina and obviously Navy, uh, what was like Towson, Yale, and Montana, I think were the other three or four schools. Look at this. More middle linebackers, a tight end. Another outside linebacker. And then how about this? Two more athletes, Dennis Johnson, Chris Smith. So hopefully that's – let me see here. That guy's actually really fast, 4.3. 6'5"? What is this dude? Is he a wide receiver? This guy's really fast too, man. Both of those guys are fast. They would be extremely fast quarterbacks, 4.3 speed. All right, so let's see how – Let's. that guy looks good, man. He's Damon Jackson's top of our list. Uh, nobody – we didn't lose anybody, so – uh, Thomas Robinson, man, come on, we need this dude. I want to get a five star. <laughs> I want to get, give me one five star. I'd also like Marcelo. I need, I need at least one of those two running backs. This guy looks, Damon Jackson looks pretty good. He's, he likes coaching style. I feel good about him. Justin Edwards, he likes playing time. Okay, we'll give him that. He'll probably start. Dennis Reed. I think I can uh, – this guy, if th he's a three-star, yeah. We'll keep after this guy. I need, I want, I'd like to get at least one wide receiver. A couple of defensive ends would be nice as well. I just need depth. I need depth on defense. I mean, I need – I basically, I need all of these recruits. Let's just be real. Like, I don't want to lose out on anybody. This guy, I don't know. Well, that's the problem, man. We we need outside linebackers. I'm gonna have to withdraw him. I'm gonna withdraw that center too. Let's go after two more guys here. Um, let me see here. That punter keeps moving up. Is it worth going after him? He likes location. Let's do. Let's go after him one more week. <laughs> you never know. We might get ourselves a five-star punter and put him at kicker. All right. How about offensive line? I really need offensive line too. Um, yeah, this guy's third on the list. I guess let's just check. Let's check outside linebacker. Those guys, no way. Man, it doesn't look good. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do here. Another guy interested in Western Carolina. Let's go. Um, let's check all prospects. Let's see. Oh, look at this. From Florida, this is an this is interesting. Four eight speed, that looks like a defensive lineman. Six five two seventy. That's got to be, that's got to be a defensive end. I'm gonna go after him. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know what to do with that punter. I don't want to waste a scholarship if he doesn't commit. That's a risky move, but we've got one more week. We go to week five. So we'll see what happens this week. I'm hoping we get at least one of those running backs. And uh, I know we got a couple of safeties targeted. Um, a couple of, I forgot who else we have, but, oh, the athlete. I Come on, man. We need that five-star athlete. I just want to get one. <laughs> Let me just get one five-star. I'll be happy. Even if he, I know he's a Juco, but still, I mean, Jugo five stars can be pretty good. There's a chance he may be. I mean, five stars are typically around 80 overall. Um, sometimes they can be lower, like 78 or 76. But we'll see that after this week, though. We'll see the overalls from everybody. All right, let's see what we get. Come on. I feel like this is taking really long. Yes, Thomas Robinson, welcome. 
our first five star guys oh look at this we got the uh look at that field awareness is a plus and he squats a, a lot 695 really i feel like it's a lot he's strong man this guy looks good. He may be like an 84. I've no, I mean, 84 is about as high as you can get for a recruit, but he's a Juco guy. Travis Payne, this is huge. Number five position. Marcelo Washington, yes. He's fast, 4.2 speed. I mean, again, that may not be accurate. Justin Edwards, there's a, two strong safeties. Nice. That's really, really good. Two three-star strong safeties. This guy's ranked number five nationally. Oh, we got the defensive end. Six, seven? That's a tall defensive end. Well, this is a good week. Uh, and, oh, headed at the wide receiver. Nice. Okay. Pretty glad. I'm actually glad we got that guy. I was, neat. I was wanting to get at least one wide receiver. Oh, the punter went to Hawaii. Okay. Uh, we didn't lose anybody else, though. So we've got... How many do we have? Oh, look at this. We've got 20 commits already. That's really good. So we've only got five more scholarships remaining. Let's see how many dudes we can get. Um, this guy is still... He's still top of our list. It would be nice to have. I don't know about this. Oh, we need this guy. This would be nice. Dennis Reed. He's at the top. We need a, we need a free safety. We still need a... I mean, we're not going to get all of our needs, I don't think. Uh, but we do have athletes, though. I keep forgetting. How many... We got three athletes committed, one targeted. So those don't count, obviously, with positions. So we can we got three additional guys that we can change positions. Um, I'm gonna drop that guy though. So let's see what we got here. Um, I'm gonna look at these athletes just because I really I do I would like to get somebody that can play quarterback if possible. We don't have any quarterbacks interested. But you know what? I'm not too focused on quarterback this year because I need good defense and I need good offensive line. Like my, our, our Townsend is only a junior this year, this upcoming season, so he'll be back. He'll be back one more year. I feel like next year I really do need to get a quarterback, though. I definitely need to get a scrambling quarterback next next season. Um, let's uh, let's check Florida. Let's look here just to make sure. Four point eight. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me check. I just want to double check. I doubt I'll have anybody. I mean, the odds of finding somebody interested and being a scrambler are not good. <laughs> I'm not going to go through that whole thing. I'm just going to go next year. Uh, let's go. We'll go for a quarterback next year, guys. I don't feel like yeah, nobody's going to be interested. That's the problem. I mean, even if they are, the chances of them being a scrambler is just... What is this guy? Five point yeah, five five point one forty time. That's like really that's I mean, that's pretty slow. <laughs> uh none of these guys. Four point seven. I mean at that rate, if I recruit a one star quarterback, they'll be worse than Townsend. So I may I may as well save that scholarship for next season. So just bear with me, I'm trying to fill these last Last, uh, I got five scholarships left for this week. I'm trying to fill the last two here. Um, let me see what we got. We need an offensive lineman. What's this guard here? Yeah. I mean, I guess I can go after him. We may, we may like. He may like us. He may just be waiting for us. None of those, these centers are really, there's no way we're getting either of those guys. Uh, neither one of them. What have I not looked at? Let's go back to North Carolina. Furman, he's, he's pretty, Furman's pretty ahead on him. Um, yeah, let me just find somebody. Any more athletes? Let's see if we can grab another two-star athlete. I'm just going through all prospects right now. What was this guy? Oh, we go after him. He's actually third on the list. Yeah. It may be a quarterback. 4.5 speed. We'll go after him. 
All right, guys. Five scholarships left. I really need that free safety. Um, obviously, the athletes would be nice. Defensive end would be nice. I mean, I would love to get all five of these guys, but you never know. We'll see. We're at 20 commits, which is pretty solid. I mean, anything over 20, you're, you're looking pretty good. It's so hard to get 25 commits unless you, like I said, unless you turn recruiting assistant on. If you do that, they'll probably fill your roster, but I don't want to do that. Man, again, if you guys haven't watched the bowl game, if there's one game you haven't watched, it's if there's one game you you want to watch, it's the bowl game. That was uh, that was an incredible game. I mean, that was one of the better ones I've played, or or I've played in. in you know what I mean? Like high scoring first half, defensive touchdown, pick six, turnovers, and then that last drive, man, <laughs> that's crazy. Scored with zero seconds on the clock. All right, let's see what we get here. Final week of the recruiting. Ugh, so stressful. Oh, we only got two, man. Okay, well we got the free safety. I was that's the guy I really wanted the most. Uh, and the offensive lineman. That's a, we can probably move him to center. All right, let's look at who didn't commit here. We would lost the running back, even though okay he went to oh, he went to that's uh, SEC West team, Mississippi Valley State. Who else didn't we get here? Uh, Furman, that's another SEC team. Furman again. My goodness. Well, we're, we got a rivalry with Furman, at least recruiting-wise. So we've got a problem with outside linebacker, but we do have athletes. We've got what? Let's check uh, Let's check all our signings here. So Thomas Robinson, man, I'm excited about this guy. Travis Payne. Gerald Atkins, Washington. So we got one five-star, four four-stars. Not bad. I, I kind of was. I kind of thought we might get a few more four stars, but I mean, even three three stars are pretty solid. I mean, you can work with three stars. Obviously, all these guys are probably going to start. Honestly, <laughs> Cole Powell. We got we got a lot of three stars though, and a lot on defense. That's much needed. I forgot we had Gilmore. I forgot about him. So I guess we didn't need that free safety too bad, but. We need depth at the uh, at defensive back. A lot of guys from Florida. So we missed out on... We needed a center, a defensive end, and two outside linebackers. But we do have three athletes. I feel like Thomas Robinson will be a linebacker. He, he's got the 4.5 speed. Plus, he's pretty strong. I feel like he's definitely a linebacker. Western Carolina, the number two class. That scares me <laughs> because we got to go up against them. It's going to be a battle for, between us and Western Carolina next season. Uh, just like it was this year, though. What did we finish? Oh, we're number 10. Look at that. We're unranked, and we had number 10 recruiting class, so not bad. Mississippi Valley State down there at number 11. Interesting. Um Yeah, look at uh, Mississippi Valley State. Uh, let's look at other SEC teams here. Was there anybody else? Yeah, Western Carolina. We're we're second. We're number ten, and then Mississippi Valley State. They were only four and eight. Really? How did they get such a good class? They were four and eight. Uh, who else we got? Where are the other SEC teams? There's Southeastern Missouri State, number 28. Prairie View A&M, 0-12. Oh, <laughs> There's Furman. A lot of SEC West teams. Um, Appalachian State, they're in the east. Elon, another SEC West. They finished, they won the SEC West. Some of these other teams must have a lot of guys returning, like Georgia, Alabama State, Georgia Southern, down here, Chattanooga, Alabama A and M. So I think, yeah, I mean, we we actually pretty good recruiting class. Uh, we finished second in our conference, just behind Western Carolina. Here we go, guys. So here's our returning players. This includes all the freshmen. So we're gonna have to rely on Townsend again. He's our only scrambling quarterback, unless we unless one of those athletes can play quarterback. We'll check on that in just a minute. 
Um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited to see this. I hope Townsend improves, though. I hope he goes up in the offseason. He's a 56. Oh, look at this guy, Marcelo Washington. That's a 78. That is rare for a four-star. You don't see... Most four-stars are like 76. Or even lower, like 74 or 72 even. That's a really good rating for a four-star. So he's he's going to be huge for us. He's got 88 speed. His agility and acceleration is, are great. Uh, break tackling is good. Jumping is good. He could probably... He looks like he could play... Uh, we may be able to throw the ball to him a little more. Stamina is good. He's just like he looks just like uh, McIntyre, nearly identical. Let's see, can we switch one of these guys to fullback? I'm kind of thinking about switching Jackson to fullback. I don't know, should I do that? We only got one fullback. We're actually kind of thin at running back, only four. Oh, look at this guy, 70 overall. That's good for a two star. Most, I think, the general threshold for a two star is 68. Um, so usually five stars, 80, four stars, 74, um, three stars, 72, two stars, 68, and one star is like 59, 62, maybe 65, probably not. So we do have three good receivers. That's actually really good. Um, Haston is back. Fox is back. Pierre Scott, 70 overall tight end. I forgot if he, I think he was a three star. So look, I mean, that's the same. So we got a three-star at 70. Look at this guy, 76. That's good. I may switch him to... Do I want to switch him to right tackle? We run the ball right quite a bit. We run, I think I feel like I run right more than left, so I'm going to put him at right tackle. Um, all right, here's our guards. Not, I mean, not bad, 68. We got to... Okay, we got to put one of them at center, though. Um... Let's see. I mean, a 48 overall. My goodness. I guess I'll put him at center. Let's hope he improves a little bit. I mean, it's better than a 56 is better than a 48. So our O-line is still not great. I mean, we've got basically three freshmen starting. Here's our defensive end. So 68. Uh, I'll put him at left end. Quentin Brown at right end. Uh, defensive tackle. We got Justin Smith at a 72. That's good. Was that guy a two-star? That is really good for a two-star. I don't remember. I think he was a two-star. Seventy. So look at that, man. 72 overall at a two-star. All right, linebackers. Right now, we just have Bauer at left outside linebacker. So we'll check athletes after we go through everybody. Um, so I'm not sure if this will stay. Gerald Atkins, 76. So we, our middle linebackers are actually solid. We don't have to worry about that. Can I switch one of them, actually? Hmm. Travis Payne, 74. Casey Jackson, 68. Casey Jackson, only 68. That was a three-star guy. So he's only a 68 overall. But, I mean, still, he's got 90 speed, so that's pretty good. 93 speed for Travis Payne. That's nice. That is very nice. Dennis Reed is 70 overall. Both of these guys are three stars, so 70 and 68, not great, but, you know. 80 speed's a little slow, but not too bad. These guys are 74. That's actually pretty good, both of them. No, both of them are 74. So these were all three-star recruits. It's just the difference you see in the overalls. Um, I'm probably going to use her one of these safeties. I like playing safety in 3-3-5. Three, three, uh, look at this guy with some uh, – oh, no, that's tackle. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was throw power. All right, so we're probably going with the same deal. Look at this, 82. Okay, what is he here? Oh, yep, there we go. Perfect, he's a linebacker. 82 overall linebacker. Love it. Uh, what is this guy? Can he also play? He can't play linebacker. Um, he's a 70 at tight end. What about this guy? 68. Um... Do I want him at corner or free safety? He's a 70 running back, though. Hold on. 70 at running back. Or 68. Hold on. No, wait. This is the other guy. Actually, no. I'm going to put this guy defensive in. Yeah, we need defensive in. 
Nice. We need a little depth there. I like that. Dennis Johnson. Yeah, I like him at defensive end. Man, I need another linebacker. I just need one more. Oh, we've only got six linebackers. It's a little thin. I mean, we've only got 54 players total, so <laughs> I'm not surprised. All right, where right, I'm going to put him at corner. I feel like I need the depth at corner because we've only – we've got two seniors at corner, and both of those guys are all – those are all freshmen at, at safety. Fortunately, nobody can play quarterback. That's, that's unfortunate. Hold on, though. He's a 60. Let's put him at linebacker. Yeah, let's do that. He's a 62. That's actually much better. Yeah. I don't know, though. I mean, I feel like if, you know, if we only we only have two good outside linebackers, so. And I can always recruit more cornerbacks next year. I mean, we really only need like three corners because we're playing, we're bringing a couple strong safeties at all times. So I don't know though, where do I want them? I'm going back and forth. I really don't know. I think I, I'm gonna leave him at corner actually. I'm, I'm gonna skip the spring game. I'm gonna leave him at corner because I'm gonna rely on uh, we'll be able to mix and match those linebackers, actually. We're all, so we only have three linebackers on the field at the same time, and we can pretty much mix and match the middle linebackers with the outside linebackers. I'm just going to go kind of hybrid roles for them. <laughs> um, all right, let's get in here. McIntyre, look at that, plus four. Uh, Townsend, plus three. It's okay. I was hoping he would get up to 60 uh, or 62. It's weird how they do the overalls in this game. Um Throw accuracy is 70 now. Nice. <laughs> so, quarterback, a little weak. That's okay. McIntyre up four. He's an 84 now. Pretty good. Break tackle went up. Nice. Catching went up. Carrying went up. He's He's got, he's a, you know, he's the feature of our offense. Although, James, look at this. James Hassan went up 82. Uh, Fox up to 78. Uh, Bailey. Okay, look at that guy. He's up to 72. So we actually, that's actually nice. So our, our tackles are actually okay. We got the 76 and 72. That's not terrible. Center, on the other hand, is an issue. Uh, this guy didn't improve at all. Our defense is, yeah, I mean, I'm not even worried about defense. Like, we have literally no one on defense. <laughs> we have absolutely no one on defense. So we get to select MVPs here. So this gives people the dot. Um, obviously, we're going to go with McIntyre. I'm about to do the punter. Look at that. We have like eight players on defense. And none of these guys are going to play. Maybe Holloway, but I don't want to waste it. I, I feel like if I select Thomas, I think they may change it. They may give it to somebody else through the season when the season's and like while we're playing. You know, maybe after four or five games they may give it to somebody else. Like look at this. This is our return these are our returning players on defense. I'm giving it to the punter. I'm screwing it. <laughs> I mean if we're gonna be punting the ball, he may we may put him at kicker too. Why not? That's a little that's a little ridiculous, but <laughs> I'm hoping one of the freshmen, like maybe Robinson, can earn the earn the dot, and they'll give it to him. So I don't even know. This is cut players. Do we have anybody? I don't even know if we have, like, I guess we could technically. I don't know if there's anybody worth cutting on the team. I mean, maybe this guy, he's a junior. He's just taking up a, a scholarship. Uh, let me see here. This guy's a 48, and he's only a sophomore. Let's get rid of him. I'm sorry, man. Uh, this guy, 52, junior. Mm. Yeah, let's cut him. We've got two freshmen. How about defensive end? I feel like we got a walk-on. I don't remember that guy. That's definitely a walk-on. 
I guess I might cut him. I don't need him. I switched one of those guys over from athletes. So these guys are all seniors. I'm just going to leave them. They'll be graduating anyway. Definitely got another walk on here. That 52, Jeff Horn. I'm going to cut him. Oh, we got another one. We got that other guy too, yeah. Um, corner, we got two seniors down there at the bottom. They'll graduate. Looks like we're good. So 53 guys on the roster. That's not many. Only three sophomores. 13 juniors, 15 seniors, 22 freshmen. All right, guys, we are just about done here. Uh, we're going to check the depth chart, and then we're going to get on. Uh, I'll probably cut it off once we get to the, the start of the, you know, the ESPN magazine of the next season. But, I mean, I know this is not an entertaining video. It's just recruiting, but it's essential. You know, if you're following the Dynasty, I appreciate you guys that are watching again. Big shout out. So I'm always going to comment. If you uh, comment on any of, my, any of my videos, I'll I'll read it. And most times I'll give you a reply. And, yeah, I, I, mean, I, mean, I like the discussion. I mean, football, these are these games are fun. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want with this game. I mean, you can create a team. You can, you know, death. there's this thing going around, the death penalty dynasty. I honestly might do that on this game. You basically just grab a team then cut all the players after one or two seasons and then start with like all walk-ons or something crazy um so let's look here depth chart shouldn't be it shouldn't take out too much time I'm just making sure everybody looks good um i don't know what i'll do at fullback that guy's a 62 i probably just leave him uh, i'll probably do the formation subs and edit these around actually you know what yeah I'm going to put in Jackson. I'm going to put him in the starting role because I want him. So basically in the triple option, your fullback is the is the running back that lines up right underneath center or right underneath the quarterback. So uh, look at that guy's a 62, that corner. That was weird. Choice, number three receiver. It's actually nice to have, especially in our spread formations. Uh, tight end, Marcelo Washington, man. He's This guy's balanced. Like he... He's good at everything, but I don't want to. I don't want to put him at tight end. We're gonna have. Let's just put in our normal tight end here. Uh, Robinson is a fifty-six at tight end. Uh, we'll put him third string just just in case. Offensive line. I just want to check, make sure we look good here. Uh, looks like we got a couple swing guys. Bill Fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it how it is. If we get injuries, we can always adjust the depth chart. Uh, defensive end looks good. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. Look at this. So Corey Cole is a 74 at outside linebacker. So we're putting him there. Um, let me move him out of the depth chart at middle linebacker. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just do that. So we'll have Robinson, Corey Cole, and Atkins at linebacker. Um, I don't want Edwards at corner. Give me another, give me my uh, – there we go. Just put – yeah, I want to get all my corners in. So uh, let me see here. You know what? Let's actually put in um, – let's put in Gilmore at the four-string corner. He'll be back up free, free safety and four-string cornerback. Uh, safeties, both of those guys will start. Our punter <laughs> – Punter is our impact player. How awesome is that? All right, kick return. I do not. I don't want McIntyre returning kicks. Uh, well, hold on. Who's good? Let's put in Fox at punt return. I may adjust that. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I put uh, Haston. Yeah, sorry. I meant to. I realized I left McIntyre. I meant to put Haston there. But, yeah, we can adjust punt returns. So, anyway, guys, we're going to continue the new season. I'm going to cut the video off here in just a second. But I appreciate you watching this first season. If you all are there in the comments and liking the videos, I notice it and I appreciate it. Um, we're going to keep this going. I have some ideas. I'm probably going to get another Dynasty going, too. Um, it's going to be a little different, but it's going to be fun. Uh, but, anyway, yeah. 
we will be going for season two. We're going to be running with a bunch of freshmen on defense. I don't even think we have any returning starters on defense that we're going to play. <laughs> so this should be interesting. Anyway, guys, take care. I'll see you for season two. Peace.